How's it going, everybody? So <clears throat> I'm back for another installment of my keys. Um, I had some questions about um, these two particular keys uh, from one of my previous videos. So I just want to talk a little bit about these two particular keys. I'd mentioned that I prefer the UR5CDX key over the Begali. Um, that's not always the case. And let me kind of explain why I said that and the caveats involved there, because there are sometimes I absolutely prefer the Begali to the UR5CDX. And there are some times that I prefer this UR5CDX to the Begali. Um, so let me kind of explain my thought process here between these two keys. Actually, let me close this window because that's a wicked glare. So let me explain my thought process between these two keys and why I prefer one over the other at certain times. So <clears throat> we'll start with the UR5CDX key. So this is the key that I use here in, I, I'm reticent to call this my shack. This is just my home office. Um, I, you know, I've got a radio here, but I wouldn't call this a ham shack. I don't have radios and QR, QSL cards and garbage hanging all over the walls. This is just my office. But um, this key is the one that I use here at my desk with my shack radio most of the time. Um, I do use other keys, obviously. I've been sending a lot with my cootie and I send a lot with my bug. Um, in my straight key, but this this is my primary work key. This is the key I do most most of my sending with here here at home. Um, and there are some reasons why I prefer this particular key here at home um, over the Begali. And so we'll, we'll talk about this Begali here in a minute. So let me slide that out of the way. So we're we're talking just solely about this Ukrainian key. Um, so there's some things about this key that make it my favorite key for here at home. Um, first things first, and this is something that I'm kind of particular about is this key is very low to the desk, right? So you can see that the, the base is short and these, these paddles come almost all the way down and they touch, almost touch the desk. I prefer low paddles, right? So when I put my hand on this key, I rest my hand on the desk like this and I just key back and forth like this, right? And I personally prefer that, um, that real low, key, right? That's just my personal preference. I don't like to have my hand way up high in key. I like to rest my hand sort of naturally on the desk and just key back and forth. Now I can do that with the Begali too, but you'll see if I bring the Begali over here, you can see how much more tall this key is. It's a lot taller. The base is a lot taller and the paddles are actually up higher. And if, I, if I put my fingers down where I normally rest them on the UR5 CDX key on the Begali, they're right at the very bottoms of these paddles, okay? So that's one of the things that I prefer about this key here at home is the height. I like a real low key. The second thing I like about this key is it's extremely heavy. Now the Begali is heavy too. This key is heavier. I, I haven't weighed the two, um, but if I just pick the two up, I can I can tell that this one's, this one's heavier than the Begali is. The, the weight keeps the key from moving around. So as you're keying, the key doesn't want to drift around on the desk. I mean, I've really got to work to move that around. The feet on this particular uh, key are also uh, grippier than the Begali are. They're sort of a softer rubber. Um, but I like that, right? That's another thing that I like is it's nice and heavy so it doesn't like to skate around on the desk. <clears throat> um, another thing I like about this key here at home is when you're working for a long time, these uh, Lexan paddles and they do make he does make carbon fiber ones for this as well um, I've got carbon fiber here I work with carbon fiber one of the thing one of the other things I do is make custom knives and so I've got plenty of carbon fiber and I think I'll make my own set of paddles for this out of carbon fiber but Yuri sells carbon fiber paddles for these but one of the nice things about the, the composite or Lexan or carbon fiber or whatever paddles is they're they they insulate so especially in the winter the paddles on this Begali are aluminum and I love the aluminum paddles sometimes. <laughs> But when it's cold, these paddles get extremely cold. And after a while, your fingertips get extremely cold using this key. Um, so here, I kind of like the, the nice warm feeling that these particular paddles have. Um, the other big selling feature of this particular key here at home is this key, the adjustments lock. So if you look, I've got my adjustment here and my adjustment here for my gaps for my paddles and my adjustment here for the magnetic return. These have lock nuts on them. So you have to unlock this screw to make your adjustments and then you lock it back in. It's nice because once you set them, so once I set those adjustments, it's locked down. 
okay? Um, they don't move, they don't budge. This thing is, once this thing is set, you're good to go. And I can adjust this key a lot tighter than I can this key and not have it send, like this one eventually, you get too tight, it'll start sending a string of dits and dies. It'll just hang up. This one will too, but you gotta be real, real tight for it to happen. Um, so those are some of the reasons that I prefer this key for here at my desk. Um, the, the height, the paddle material, um, the locking adjustments, um, the fact that it is heavier and the feet are stickier so it stays put better. Um, so that's kind of the reason I prefer this key here at home. Now, with that being said, if I'm going out in the field, and I'm not talking like one of my field activations where I go out and do pona, but well, I am, but not like one where I hike into the back of the wood, like back into the woods. Like my last video that I did an activation at uh, Jenksville State Forest, I mean, I hiked that hikes, I don't know, four or five miles back into where I activated. I am not carrying a three pound key back into the woods. Okay. However, um, last weekend was the Parks on the Air plaque event, and I was at um, Sugar Hill State Forest, and I was there for two days. I set up Friday afternoon and I was there through Sunday afternoon. So I was there 48 hours and I wasn't hiking around. I was stationary. So if I'm activating stationary, so if I'm going someplace and I'm going to work for a while out in the field, I prefer the Begali. And there are a number of reasons why I prefer this key. This is a better field key in every way than this UR5 CDX key is, as far as I'm concerned. Other people may disagree and that's fine. These are just my personal opinions. This key the finish is a whole lot tougher. I'm not sure what this finish is, but it is tough. Um, this is raw brass, and this scratch is real easy. It gets fingerprints on it real easy. It looks gross real easy. This thing is bomb proof. All right, this thing is a giant slab of steel with, I think it's some sort of titanium coating on it, and it is tough as nails. This key is an absolute tank. I like the aluminum paddles in the field, because when I pack this thing out, I usually throw this in a little Pelican case and I don't have to worry about breaking these paddles. On this, those are plastic, they will break. Um, these paddles on these Vibraplex keys, if you ever order a Vibraplex key online, that's let's say a used key, make sure you, like you buy one on eBay, have the seller take this paddle off, like this bug right here, have them take this paddle off before they ship it because what'll happen is in shipping, this will slide and this will break. I've had multiple keys have broken paddles when I get them because uh, they are plastic. So that's something to keep in mind. But in the field, this is aluminum. This key is tough. This key is tougher than this key is. It just straight up is. Um, so I like the fact that this finish is tougher. I like the fact that it does have the aluminum paddles. And this expedition is kind of designed as this kind of key where you take it out and, you know, use it in the field. Um, it does not have locking adjustments, which I like in the field, because if I need to make on the fly adjustments, if I'm working a pile up and I need to make a adjustment real quick. I can come in here and adjust my my um, paddle gap or my magnetic return real quick. I don't have to worry about unlocking lock screws. Here at home, I want that thing locked, set, don't have to worry about it. If I bump one, I don't have to worry about screwing up my adjustments. I've got time to fiddle with it. In the field, I need to be able to just turn those knobs and have it go. So that's a better key for the field. The other thing I like about this Begali in the field is it, is, it has a three and a half millimeter jack. So you just plug a three and a half millimeter audio cable into this thing and plug it into your radio and you roll. This UR5 CDX key is wired on the bottom, and this wire, this cable is attached to the key. It's not, I mean, it's not easily removable. You can remove it, but it takes some doing. And all of Yuri's keys come with a quarter inch jack on the end. So I have this plugged into a splitter under my desk with all my other keys. I have to have an adapter to plug this in. Now, could I make a cable or change the cable on this to, to switch it to a three and a half millimeter jack? Sure, I could. Um, but this, that's just one other thing you need to worry about. If I break this cable, I damage this cable in the field, it's hard to replace. This thing, I can carry a couple of cables. I break a cable off, I one phrase, whatever happens, I can swap a cable out in two seconds on this key and keep rolling. So. My philosophy when it comes to these keys is what am I going to do with that key? And Because I've had a lot of people ask me, well, why do you like the UR5 CDX key better than the Begali? I don't. I love both of these keys. I like them for different reasons and for different uses. Okay, so when I say I prefer the UR5 CDX, I'm talking here at home. When I'm in the field I'm and I'm not going to be portable, like if I'm not walking around, if I'm just going to set up and operate and I don't have to hike in, I'm bringing this key 100% of the time. I'm not bringing this key. This key is a little more delicate. 
Um, the finish is more delicate. The cable is problematic. Um, it, I have to fiddle with the adjustments. If I, need to, if I need to make an adjustment, it takes some time. This thing, I don't have that issue. However, here at home, this one moves around a little easier. The feet are not as sticky. Um, it's not as heavy, so it will skate around. Your fingers get cold on these paddles. Now, when you're operating in the field in the winter, you got to wear gloves because these things get cold. Um, but the paddles are a little higher on this key, all right? So I do, I can't easily operate at my my uh, favorite position here where I'm way down low. I do have to pick my hand up a little bit. But as far as a field key is concerned, this Begali key is a much better key. And as far as a home key is concerned, I think this UR5 CDX key is a better key. Again, these are just my personal opinions based on my usage and my experience with these two keys. Uh, they're both extremely high quality keys. I mean, Begali, it's Begali. You, you can't go wrong with a Begali key. Uh, they make phenomenal keys. Every one of them that I've ever seen, ever used, ever sent on is amazing. Yuri stuff is fantastic. It, the quality is really high. The fit and finish is really high. Like I said, I can get tighter tolerances on this key than I can on this key and still have it work, which I really like. But it is a little more delicate. It's a little little showier. Um, so again, different use cases. If I'm working here at home, I'm probably going to man this UR5 CDX key. Unless I'm using one of my other radios. Because again, this thing's a pain in the butt to want to plug into one of my other radios. Because I've got to unplug this cable, get my adapter, plug it into my radio. This one, I just swap cables back and forth. Um, so that's something to think about. When you're looking at keys, what are you going to do with it? right? If you're going to use it at home... A little showier is fine. No, you want to buy a Begali with a nice finish and, you know, fancy stuff on it, have at it. You carry that thing in the field and it's going to get beat up, right? If this thing get, this thing's hard. I mean, I beat this key. I dropped it last weekend when I was working at um, the Pota Black event and you can't tell. There's not a scratch on this key. It is bulletproof. Um, so this is a tougher key in general, especially the finish, the paddles, um, things like that. So those are some things you want to consider. Here in the shack, I prefer this. In the field, if I'm not, you know, portable and hiking, I prefer this. Now, obviously, if I'm packing in, I'm bringing one of those ultra lightweight 3D printed keys or something. Um, but I just wanted to answer that question because I did have some some viewers ask me, well, you know, because Begali's are real popular. People are like, well, why do you prefer the UR5 CDX? I said, well, it's, it's that's not always the case. There's caveats there, right? It depends. Sometimes I prefer this key. Sometimes I prefer this key. And that's why. So when you buy a key, think about those things. What are you going to do with it? What are your priorities, okay? You, one key may not do everything you want it to do. That's why I have, I don't even know how many keys I have a pile. Um, but, you know, if you only had to have, if I only had to have one single key that I had to do everything with and call it a day, uh, it'd probably either be this Begali or honestly, it'd probably be this 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 uh, W1SF Arcudi because this this can do pretty much everything I need it to do. It's, it's small enough to pack in. It's fairly light. It can work both in cootie mode and in straight key mode, or in, I'm sorry, in single paddle mode. You know, those would probably be key kind of keys I would buy um, just because this thing's a tank and it is it is a fantastic key. But because I can have multiple keys, I use this here in the shack because it's so much nicer for my shack use. And I use this in the field when I'm doing sort of a stationary operation because it is it does have benefits there. So when you buy a key, keep those things in mind. What are you going to do with it? What are your priorities? What features do you need? What do you find important? And you may not know until you play with some keys what you find more important. You might find that it's obnoxious every time you want to make an adjustment to have to unlock a lock knob. I prefer it here at home. I don't have to worry about bumping these and screwing it up. But in the field, I found it's a pain in the butt. I want to just be able to turn a screw and have it set. Right? If I'm working a pile, the last thing I want to do is have to mess with lock screws. Um, so... That, I hope that answers everybody's question. And like I said, I've had multiple people ask me that question. So um, those are just sort of, that's just sort of my thought process behind these keys. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I try to answer everybody who, uh, who responds in the comments. Um, and with that being said, I hope everybody found this one informative as well. And I will see you on the next one. 7-3.